channel dentistry to the point this is dr drumil manik so after discussing about the mucoepidermoid carcinoma now we we'll discuss about the two most variants of mucoepidermoid carcinoma which are rarely seen in the form of this tumor now this is not very much important regarding the examinations but you can also keep in mind as an extra information it will always help you in some or the other way so the two most common or the most only two variants of mucoepidermoid carcinoma are sclerosing mucoepidermoid carcinoma and intraosseous mucoepidermoid carcinoma kon kon se hai ek is sclerosing mucoepidermoid carcinoma and second is intraosseous mucoepidermoid carcinoma तो so, इन दोनों के नाम में ही आपको समझ आ जाएगा कि इसमें क्या क्या ऐसी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स है सो दैट दीज आर कंसिडर्ड एज वेरिएंट्स बिकॉज दीज शो दीज शो सम फीचर्स डिफरेंट फ्रॉम म्यूकोपिडरवाइड कार्सिनोमा विच इज द कन्वेंशनल वन जो कि सलाइवरी ग्लैंड में राइज होता है इन द मेजर एंड माइनर सलाइवरी ग्लैंड विच मे अपियर एज एक्स्ट्रा ऑरल लीजन और इंटर ऑरल लीजन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दिस इन डिटेल You can check out my another video on mucoepidermoid carcinoma, which is discussed in part one and part two. Now, this video is mainly regarding the two variants. So, starting with sclerosing mucoepidermoid carcinoma, it is the extremely rare variant of mucoepidermoid carcinoma. बहुत ही rare variant है. सिर्फ छह cases report हुए हैं. अभी तक how many cases? Only six cases are reported. So, you can consider this as the rarest of all variants of mucoepidermoid carcinoma secondly it contains intense central sclerosis the naam mein hi naam mein hi hai ki it contains sclerosis that is intense central sclerosis frequently accompanied with infiltration kya kya hai isme central sclerosis with infiltration of what kiska infiltration hai plasma cells eosinophils and लिम्फोसाइट्स तीन चीजों का इन्फिल्ट्रेशन होगा दैट इज प्लाज्मा सेल्स योसिनोफिल्स एंड लिम्फोसाइट्स यूजुअली द होल ट्यूमर इज ऑक्यूपाइड बाय दिस स्क्लेरोसिस क्या होता है कि ये पूरा ट्यूमर धीरे धीरे स्क्लेरोसिस से ही इन्वेड हो जाएगा सो इट क्रिएट्स क्वाइट मच डिफिकल्टीज इन डायग्नोजिंग द हिस्टोलॉजिकल सेक्शन ऑफ स्क्लेरोजिंग म्यूकोपिडरमाइड कार्सिनोमा there is so much of sclerosis seen in the histological section that you can't identify the histological characteristics that is the mucus cells epidermoid cells and the intermediate cells so this was about sclerosing mucoepidermoid carcinoma second one is the intraosseous mucoepidermoid carcinoma now this also name only suggest ki mucoepidermoid carcinoma of bone hai so this is mucoepidermoid carcinoma of jaws mainly it affects the mandible mandible mein kaha affect karega that is in the retromolar area that is in the area of molars so it is known as central mucoepidermoid carcinoma iska dusra naam kya hai central mucoepidermoid carcinoma it is usually have we usually have thought to occur due to malignant transformation of lining of odontogenic cyst kya hai it is usually Thought that it is occurred due to malignant transformation. किसका हो रहा है malignant transformation? जो भी epithelial lining as a remnants रह जाती है odontogenic cyst की, it, it may be rather of any of the odontogenic cyst. आप जाके मेरा cyst का भी video देख सकते हो. I have detailed discussion of odontogenic cyst from classification with most common type of cyst. Now the most common site I have already told. For intraosseous mucoepidermoid carcinoma is in mandible and radiographically appears as unilocular or multilocular radiolucent lesions in retromolar area. कैसे दिखेंगे unilocular या multilocular radiolucent lesions? Now these were the two variants of mucoepidermoid carcinoma. I hope you guys have understood. There is nothing much to remember in this. Just remember the names and Two three points about the characteristics of these variants. So, if you have understood the lecture, please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell button so that you can get the updates of new upcoming lectures like this. Thank you.